Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Today, y'all, what I'm going to be doing is the basic apple pie recipe. Now, I know that there are different variations of apple pies that you could possibly try. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the basic recipe for an apple pie. And these are the ingredients that I do have. I have um, some store-bought pie crust. All right, then I have a half a cup of sugar, and then I have some cornstarch. And this is two tablespoons of cornstarch. And then I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And along with that, I got one-fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. And then I have some, um, this here is lemon rind. All right, so I only got just one tablespoon of that. And then I have here two tablespoons of butter, which I'm going to be dotting into the pie. And then I have some lemon juice, and that lemon juice is about one tablespoon. I'm sorry, yeah, about one tablespoon of that also, all right? So these are the ingredients, and I did say nutmeg. I'm not sure, but if I did, I did say nutmeg. So there we go. These are your basic ingredients, and I also have six apples. Now, the thing about the apples are if you go to, like, your Walmart or your stores and you see the labels that's on them, They'll tell you if they're good for baking or good for salads or whatever like that. Spend the money and get you some good apples to, um, you know, just for baking. I guarantee you, you can't go wrong with doing that. Honestly, you really can't. I spent $3 and some change for these apples, and they're perfect for baking. All right, so let's get into the um, baking of the apple pie. Something I'm definitely going to love, and you might love it too, so give it a try. So let's get started with the recipe. All right, y'all, let's get started. All right, right now I got a little bit of, of the allergy syndrome going on. The pollen is getting to me, but I'm just peeling the top of the crown of the apples. And uh, then I'm going down the sides to remove the skin of the apples. After I remove all the skin, I'm just going to take a knife and cut it straight down. And I'm cutting these into fourths, one, apples in, one apple into fourths. And with that, I'm going to use what, what I call a diagonal cut. All right, I just got my knife pointed diagonally and I'm just going straight down to remove the core. I don't have my knife positioned straight, but it's in a diagonal position. And from there, I'm just using this method to remove the core and all you would have left is just the apple flesh. All right, so let's move over to the next step and get this apple pie rolling. So I'm using some sugar here got the sugar put it into the bowl I got some cornstarch I'm adding that along with it and you can find all your measurements below alright so I got here I think that's the cinnamon and some nutmeg along with some um, lemon zest and I'm just giving this a mix I'm mixing everything together after this is mixed together let's do this add the apple all right, after you didn't added all of the apples, we're going to give this a nice toss and try to coat every last one of these apple slices in that uh, mixture. So the next step would be adding the lemon juice. Now what I do is once I added the lemon juice, I would toss these apples again. Then, as you can see, I'm putting them into a store-bought pie shell. If you want to make your own, be my guest and make your own. So I'm using a cake pan to put these apples into a pie shell. The thing I like about this pie is that it reminds me of a apple pie slash apple cobbler. Now I'm just taking the butter and just dotting it right on top. And I'm taking that second um, pie, pie crust that comes into the, the box 
and adding it right on top. And I'm tucking in the edges. This is why I like this, like using this here um, because I can tuck the edges in and lock in them juices. My God, ain't nothing like some good juice on some crust, apple juice on some crust. Come on, y'all. All right, so I just make a little vent hole on top and I'm placing it into the oven. All right, and you will actually find the temperature and the time in the description below. Now, as you can see, I got some of that beautiful, golden, tasty, woo, apple juice, apple juice. <laughs> that apple pie filling coming out of the sides of this here. Now, if you would like, you can add some egg wash on top of your, your crust to make it, you know, a little golden or whatever the case may be. Um, some milk on top of that, whatever the case may be. You can even sprinkle it with sugar. But this is just your basic apple pie. Now, let's just cut it to this thing. Okay, y'all, I think this pie is cool enough for me to go ahead and cut. Right now, I want to just say thank y'all for tuning in to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. And on top of that, please hit that subscribe button. And if you would, um, leave a comment, all right? Try this recipe out. Now, what I like doing with my pies is that I dig mine out. I don't look to try to get out no perfect slice or nothing like this, but this is what I do. I dig my pie out because I like it just like that. Then I take the apples and put it right on top of the crust because it's already got the crust at the bottom. Like I said, this is your basic apple pie. My light just went off on the camera, but this is what we got, y'all. Just your basic apple pie. And I'm about to sign off right now. Yes, indeed. So, this is Ray Mac from Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. I always say this, whatever you do, love and not hate. But I'm about to love into this right now. Ah, yeah, just wait a minute. Mm. Mm. You get you some vanilla ice cream with this, I know you're gonna love it. This is your basic apple pie. Thank you for checking me out. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. I say peace and good night. Hey, what's up? This is Ray Mack from Ray Mack's Kitchen and Grill. I want to say thank you so much for watching and tuning in to this here video. If you like the content that you've seen, please give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment. I like to hear your feedback. And what's most important is that you hit that subscribe button. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos coming in the up and coming future. Once again, I say that at the end of my videos, love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace.